Okay. So the first thing you would do is you would get out, chalk your wheels. You get in the truck, put your seatbelt on. Now you're going to turn your key on the on position and check your air pressure. Okay, so you're going to, your air pressure is under 100. So if your air pressure is above 100 or it's 120 or 130, you want to lower it to under 100. You always want to start it on your test under 100. So now I'm going to start my vehicle. Now I'm going to do a safe start and start my vehicle. So I'm going to check my air brakes, make sure my truck's in neutral, and I'll start my truck up. No brake. As long as you have these brakes on, no foot on the brake. Okay, so now I'm going to do a fast idle and build my air pressure at 1,000 RPMs. 10 on the tack is 1,000. So step on the throttle and hold it there. back on the on position more so the key the gauge is working. and now I'm gonna release my parking brake no, no. you got your wheel chuck oh <laughs> so you have to let it uh, settle on the wheel chucks okay okay so now I'm gonna get my phone ready for a one minute time ramp done not to worry about that Okay, so now I'm going to step on my brake. Hard. Harder. Wait for my needle to settle. Okay, my needle settled at 100, 100 PSI. Now I begin my one minute timer. I cannot lose more than three, four PSI for a combination vehicle that I'm driving. Now we're going to wait our one minute. Okay, my one minute's up. My air pressure is still at 100, showing I lost zero air pressure, showing my service brake is working properly. Now I'm going to release my brake. Oh, brake. No, your foot brake. Oh. <laughs> okay, my next test is my low air pressure warning light. And my low air pressure warning light comes on from 55 to 75. On that same gauge at the bottom of the needle, there's a light. So you're gonna step on your brake and release it until your light comes on. Okay, the light came on. My light came on and went off. No, you gotta have the primary, only the primary gauge. That's it, that's all you need. If you answer anything to the secondary gauge, it'll fill you. So my low air pressure warning light came on at 60? Yep. 60 PSI showing it's working in the proper range. My next test is gonna be my pop-out valve test. And my valves pop out between 20 and 45. So I'll step on my brake and release it until my valves pop out.
so my bow my bow's popped out at 30 yeah 30 psi showing they're working in the proper range my next test is going to be my four brake valve test to do my four brake valve test i have to get out and unchuck my wheels so turn it off uh yes turn it off take the key with you and unchuck your wheels Okay, so now I'm gonna put my seatbelt on, I'll start my vehicle and build my air pressure. While I'm building my air pressure, I'm gonna do my in cab inspection. Turn it all the way off? Yeah, start it up. My seatbelt is securely mounted, the best nuts and bolts not cut, crater damage, and is properly latched. My seat is securely mounted, the best nuts and bolts adjusted to my driving. My door opens and closes freely. My window rolls up and down freely, it's not crack damage, no illegal stickers. My mirrors are securely mounted, no mess and nuts and bolts, and adjusted to my driving. They're not cracked or damaged, no illegal stickers. My windshield is securely mounted, not cracked or damaged, no illegal stickers. My wipers are working properly, my blades are not cracked or damaged. My dashboard's clean and debris, it's not cracked or damaged. My stern wheel is a 20 inch stern wheel, no more than two inches of play. My city horn's working properly, my air horn is working properly, I'll show you that on the road. My clearance lights are working properly. My headlights are working properly. My high beams, you pull them up, they're working properly. My four-way flashers are working properly underneath, underneath it. There you go. They're working properly. My left turn signal, right turn signal, they're all working properly. Turn the lights off. My bolt gauge is at 14 volts showing it's working properly. My water temperature is at zero and rising, showing it's working properly. My air gauge is working properly, we've already demonstrated that. My oil pressure is at 60 PSI, showing it's working properly. My tachometer is at a 750 RPM, showing it's working properly. My speedometer is working properly, I'll show you that on the road. My fuel gauge is at three quarters of the tank, showing it's working properly. My depth gauge is on full, showing it's working properly. My Heater's working properly. My defroster's working properly. My brake pedal and my throttle securely mounted. No missing nuts and bolts, not cracked or damaged. No debris on them, working properly. My floor is clean and debris. No holes, no damage. Underneath my passenger seat, three reflective triangles, spare bolts and fuses. My back window securely mounted. Not cracked, damaged, no illegal stickers. My dome lights are working properly. They're not cracked or damaged. Next to my driver's seat is a rated, dated, fully charged, securely mounted fire extinguisher. Okay. So now I'm going to do a fast idle and build my air pressure so I can do my four brake valve test. Step on your throttle, 1,000 RPMs, and build your air pressure up. So your, your tanks have to be full for your first test and your four brake valve test. Stop rising at 125, showing my tanks are full. Now I'm going to begin my four brake valve test. My first test is going to be my service brake. I'll release my parking brake. And, and my 
trailer brake. Step on my brake. I'll put my truck in drive. I'm gonna move forward slightly and stop. Okay, my truck moved forward and stopped, then moved left to right, showing my service brake is working properly. Now I'm gonna pull my trailer hand brake. All the way down. Release my foot brake. Okay, my trailer didn't move, showing my trailer hand brake is working properly. My next test is gonna be, be will be my trailer parking brake. I'm gonna pull my trailer parking brake. Release my hand brake. My trailer didn't move, showing my trailer parking brake is working properly. My fifth wheel is properly attached. My next test is gonna be my parking brake. I'll pull my parking brake. Release my trailer brake. My truck didn't move, showing my parking brake is working properly. Now I'm gonna apply my trailer brake. Put my truck in neutral. No brake. I'll think about everything I've done, correct anything if I missed it, and then turn my truck off. This concludes my air brakes and in-cab inspection.